It's Wednesday, guys. Happy New Year. Hope you guys had a great, safe holiday yesterday. Um, I think we're just going to lay around. I'm filming this the day before. Uh, we're filming on uh, New Year's Eve, actually. So, um, but I wanted to, uh, we're going to do a, a couple things here. We're going to do a little review on um, some wormy maple that Luther sent me. And I think it's uh, his pronounce. His name is pronounced Say, but it may be C A. I'm not sure. But Luther uh, has been watching us for a while, and he knows I kind of play around with different kinds of wood. So he sent me some pieces of uh, wormy maple. Um, never carved. I don't think I've ever carved regular maple, let alone wormy maple. Um, so I played around with it a little bit. Here's a piece that I just tested a little while ago. Um, my first impressions, uh, my first impression was heavy. I mean, it feels like it's, man, it's really heavy. Of course, it's thick. Uh, you know, this is, uh, uh, I think, about a full one inch thick. Yeah, it's actually slightly over an inch thick. That was my first impression. Um, so what I did was I tried to sand it off, and I did sand uh, this one off uh, before I started carving it. And it's got these, um, these... Nice. Well, I think these are more like um, marks from something else. I'm not sure. I'm not sure what these these square marks are. They almost look patternish, like it was uh, perforated in in a mill or something. Um, I think the worm parts are the holes. So here's what uh, here's what the board. See, I think the the worm part are the holes and the staining from the, um, I actually, I looked it up, and uh, what is causing that is the ambrosia beetle, and they get in, they burrow in there, and then they lay their larvae, and it stains the wood, and I think, I, I, and you guys might know this better than me, but it seems like a lot of these worm holes are right on these this grain pattern. Um, this one is cut off there, so you can see that. And I'm going to carve this sign, and uh, it it seems like a lot of these wormholes are right in that dark, what I call grain pattern, but that might be staining from the um, the larvae of the beetle. That would be my guess. So um, it's very heavy. This has got quite a bit of moisture in it. Some places I measured it, it's like 16. Some places it's it's down less than that. Um, but. Uh, I'm excited to give it a try uh, on a bigger board. So uh, again, my first impressions was heavy. This is actually considered a soft wood, but man, it don't feel like it. It didn't sand, it sanded very hard. That's why this piece here, I just ran through my planer. Um, and I got down, it seemed like it had some of this stuff and I got down below it. Um, but uh, it is, uh, I love the, the grain or the staining, uh, whatever that dark is through there. I'm excited to see how that comes out. Um, and then, of course, the holes. So anytime you're dealing with something that's got imperfections in the surface of the wood, at least for my sake, you can see I actually taped these off. I taped these three places off because I didn't want my black spray to go down in those holes, even though they're dark anyway. And they may, they're may they probably going to be taken out with background because I'm going to do all these outset. This one here, of course, I knew was going to be outset or, or background, so I didn't bother taping that off. But anyway, um, let's see. That was That's what I've got as of now. And here's the other thing is when I was sanding this little, this little block off, the smell that I got, I don't know, it was really strange. And I don't know if it was just particular to that board, but it smelled like fish bait. I don't know if that means anything to you, but I was just on a, a fishing boat not long ago and caught a sturgeon, and we were fishing with uh, grass shrimp and ghost shrimp and, uh, and a couple other things, and uh, that smell brought back a fishing boat. <laughs> I don't know if that's just me, or maybe I was just thinking about fishing. I'm not sure. But anyway, we're going to fire this thing up. It is, huh? Uh, yeah. It's a little chilly out here. We're uh, we're out here on the patio, and it's gotta be, 
in the low 30s, I would say, today. It actually snowed this morning just a little bit. I think there was like five, maybe six flakes, but it did snow for a few minutes. Ooh, thank you, babe. That, that helps. I'm going to wish I had that when I, this cold router starts. Oh. Uh oh, I got my I got my router base swapped. I need to turn it around. All right, there we go. Yeah, I am in the sun. You want me to move down one way or the other? One way or the other, either one. You're like right in the middle. Of All right, let's move down that way. All right. So I'm not going to do this whole thing. We're going to do a few letters here, and as I go along, I'm going to give you my impressions. I'm going to see if that smell actually comes out. Uh, put my cheaters on here. Yep. Ah. All right, let's get after it. Here we go. Oh, I've got the bit. I'm using my profile bit. I've got it set at uh, about 3 16 I may have to adjust that a little bit. I'm not sure yet. Okay, so you can see how it kind of bunches up in there, and I think some of that is the wood. Some of it may be some moisture. Oh, oh, I'm good, babe. I've got my little heater here. Thank you. Um, I think some of it may be uh, the moisture in the board. Um, so let me see what I've got. Let me uh, let me pull out my pocket knife, and I want to uh, kind of clear that clear that out. Oh, by the way, uh, normally when I do the reviews on this, I carve something that says what kind of wood it is. Um, but I, you know, just out of the blue, I thought of uh, listening to my wife, actually. <laughs> so this, she said it's a shame not to uh, do something good with this wood. So this is actually for my mother in law. <sighs> so, um,. But it kind of bunches up a little bit, and again, I think some of that is the wood. As I was going cross grain, or uh, not cross grain, but with the grain, it seemed to kind of uh, stall a little bit. Uh, it carved really good going against the grain, but when I went with the grain, it was a little jumpy, um, but not bad, not to the point where, um, and some of it, this is kind of an old bit. I haven't sharpened this for a while, so some of it might be the bit. If you had a sharp bit, it might not do that. So let's Let's do another letter and see what happens here. By the way, I don't know if you guys noticed, but on Monday's video that I did, I filmed it by myself. That's the one where I did uh, the one where I was talking about the different routers and cutting. And um, I had done it in the studio. And if you notice, I, I didn't notice until after I watched it after it was posted, um, the camera slowly was dropping. So by the time I was done, the top of the camera frame was right at my eyes. I'm lucky that it didn't just keep going and uh, 
go to where I, only my mouth was showing. Anyway, um, so this is definitely, uh, it, it's considered a soft wood, but it's not soft to carve as far as freehand carving goes. But it's, a, but I will say that it's pretty consistent. It just seems like when I'm going with the grain that it um, feels a little bit, um, a little bit tougher to go through, a little bit harder to hold a line. So I'm gonna do, uh, I'm gonna do one more line. In fact, I'll do this other A because I wanna see what happens when I cut through those, uh, those two little wormholes there. Oops. No, it doesn't smell like bait now. I don't know. You must have been thinking fishing. Yeah, I must have. Actually, it doesn't have much of a smell right now. Can you smell anything? How about you guys? <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't, I don't, it doesn't have any distinctive smell right now. It must have, maybe it was my sander. <laughs> maybe it was something like that. All right, so, um, I like the way it carves. It's not my favorite as far as uh, the way it carves, but um, I'm excited to, to finish it up and then see what it looks like. So what I'm going to do is off camera, I'm going to finish up the rest of this profiling of these letters and then I'll come back and we'll do the background and that'll give us uh, another taste of what it's going to be like. Okay, Vicki says talk fast because she's cool. freezing. I think it's getting colder. Um, and I'm sure it is. Anyway, um, so I got all the profiling done and uh, by the time I got down here to the end, I needed to rest. <laughs> this thing wore me out. It, uh, it was easier carving at the beginning, but by the time I was done, it really was a chore. You know, you get some boards that are just, they wanna fight you all the way. So let's see how we do with the 90 degree. We've got the 90 degree in and we're gonna do some background and uh, see how this thing goes. So stay with me. Ah, here we go. I got it set, I think a little less than a quarter of an inch, but let me take a look. Yep, just slightly less than a quarter of an inch.
that was a workout. Hot dog. I'm not really a fan of the way this burrs up like that down in there. Not really a clean cut. Again, that some of that might be the wood. Some of it may be my brush falling off the bench. Uh, some of it may be uh, the moisture in there, but I don't, I don't feel a lot of moisture actually in uh, most of that cutting. It actually cut okay, but uh, it's just um, pretty hard. This definitely will not be one of my favorites. And you can see, I don't know if you can see down in there, see how it leaves kind of that stuff? Uh, it makes it difficult for uh, to get all that out, huh? Okay. Sorry, I'm moving it around. I'm trying to. I got to find something to point with. So the way it leaves uh, these little burrs like that, I don't really care for that much. So I really have to brush it hard to try and get rid of as much of that as possible. And anytime I've got a high spot, I'll take it out where it kind of leaves that. It, uh, it was consistent, I'll say that. Although I did nick my A over here, I got to go back and fix that. I don't know if you guys saw that or not. I'll do that right on camera so you guys can see how I fix my mistakes. Anything I can do to stall to keep Vicky freezing. <laughs> <laughs> pretty good that's okay so like I say I'm just gonna really have to brush this thing from every direction to try and get as much of that stuff broken loose huh yep that's a high spot that is too Yeah, I got one there too. Come back. Or? Yeah, so I'm gonna uh, go ahead and brush this really good, guys, and then um, and spray it. Now I don't have any sanding sealer on this because I didn't um, I didn't sense any that there's this is gonna be a wood that's gonna bleed. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, and brush it real good. And then I'll spray it. And we'll come back and we'll sand it off. I will. Um, I will put a piece of tape over that hole and probably that one. These two are in the background and then this one I didn't have any issues with that. Um, but yeah, I just, I got to really brush this thing good. So we'll be back in a minute. That was the rough sand. Now we'll put the rough sand is a, a 50 grit, 40 or 50 grit. Now I'm going to use the um, the 120 grit.
Okay, let's see what it looks like. Pretty nice. I like it. Yeah. Okay, let's get a finish on it. Well, actually we got one white spot right there. We need to sand that or we need to touch that up. Where's my Sharpie? There it is. Sun's going down quick. We're getting some sun across the board here. So now I want to put a real quick coat of finish on it. See what it looks like with a finish on it. I like it. I'm using uh, the triple thick crystal clear glaze. Can you hold it over kind of towards that way in the shadow? The whole board? Yeah. Yeah, it's kind of in the sun, but pretty bored. Yeah, I love I love the grain in there or I guess that's the staining uh, from the beetles, but man, what a beautiful board. I love that grain. We've got a little bit of a bleed here, but I really don't think that that uh, really bothers anything. So I think, um, I think I'm going to try this again. Let me come around behind. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to try this, uh, this material again. I think it still has some moisture in it. I think I'm going to wait until the spring. I've got a couple more pieces of it, and I think I'm going to wait till it dries out a little bit more and try it again. Um, but Again, I would say this is definitely not my favorite. I love the way it looks. Um, it sands okay, but um, it's, it's hard to carve, no doubt about it. It's definitely hard to hold a line. Um, so unless you've been carving a long time, unless you're somewhat advanced and you're used to being able to hold a, hard, uh, hold a line in a hard board. Right in the shadow. Oh. Um, I would I would definitely stay away from the wormy maple until you're more uh, used to what that router feels like in your hand because it was difficult to hold a line toward the end and it just kind of wears you down. Um, but anyway, it was fun to do. Uh, I love that grain. That just the more I look at that grain, the light uh, with the dark streaks through it, it looks really spectacular. So uh, I don't know what Vic's going to do. This is for her mom. I don't know what she's going to do on the edge, but that'll be her thing. I did my part. Um, <laughs> Anyway, guys, thanks for tuning in. If you have any questions, obviously, email me, eric at makeawoodsign.com. I'm on uh, Instagram every day, makeawoodsign. If you haven't subscribed yet, we'd love for you to. If you're new to the channel and um, anything I can do to help to answer questions, just hit me up, email me, or leave a comment in the, in the description or in the, um, in the comment section, I guess. Um, Friday. So the next video is going to be on Friday. We're going to do our uh, Friday fun with the rotens, I think was what we're calling it. And I'll try not to delete them this time. And uh, But we got some uh, several announcements that uh, we're real excited about. So uh, join us on Friday. Um, it's going to be a big Q&A. Uh, maybe doing a giveaway. I don't know. I haven't decided on that yet. Um, but we got uh, we got some interesting things coming up. It's going to be a great year, 2019, guys. It's going to be an exciting year. I hope you guys are doing something exciting for your future. 
Uh, it's going to be our best year yet. So let's go out and uh, do some great things. Um, and I hope you guys are having a great day. And we will see you guys Friday night, 7 p.m. Arizona time. That's Mountain Standard Time. And I uh, hope you guys can join us with some questions. We love the q and It'll be inside, too. <laughs> yeah, it'll be warmer. It'll be inside. We won't be shivering. Anyway, guys, have a great one. We'll see you. Bye.